Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video I will show you how I set up my machine for a development. So let's get started. So I'll divide this video into four different parts. That is the prerequisites, the programming languages that I used, the tools that I used and the different productivity tools that I used. So let's get started with the prerequisites. For the prerequisites, the first thing I do when I set up my machine is to install Chrome. So I use Chrome browser for a lot of reasons. So Chrome has a very good developer tool. So I prefer to use Chrome over any other browsers. Recently, I have also started using Brave browser, but for any development work, for any web development work, I'll prefer to work on Google Chrome. Most of the things that I do for development, I'll create a Git repository first and then I'll start my project. So the first thing I'll do is to install and configure Git. So once the Git is downloaded and installed, I'll set up my default name and default email ID. So once that is done, once that is set up, I'll start my development activities. I'll start my creating repositories and cloning repositories. Once Git is installed, I'll enable WSL2 for my Windows 10. WSL2 is a Windows subsystem Linux version 2 so that will allow you to work on a linux environment along with your windows 10 so, so no longer you have to boot between two different systems so you can work with linux while in windows 10 itself so i prefer that way so i'll install wsl2 i'll enable wsl2 and then i will install the ubuntu distro for it so this is the prerequisites i do when i am setting my system once this is done, I will install all my programming languages that I work on. So I mostly I worked on Java. So I'll download Java and then I'll install it. So generally I forget to how to set up Java home variables and Java environment variables. So I have to Google it and set it up every time because I don't remember it. Once that is done, I will configure Maven also. I'll install Maven and I'll configure all the Maven home environments and M2 home and all those environments. I'll do that. And then I'll be starting working on my Spring Boot projects. Once Java is installed and Java is configured, sometimes I work on Node.js and Go language also. So I'll go ahead and download and install Node.js and I'll also download and configure my Go programming language. Once all my programming languages are downloaded and installed and everything is configured, I go ahead and install my all the tools. So firstly, I'll go ahead and download JetBrains toolbox because I work on IntelliJ IDEA. So I prefer to download JetBrains toolbox and then install IntelliJ IDEA. So if there are any updates available or I want to install any other IDE, then from that toolbox itself, I will be able to download it. So once this toolbox is downloaded and installed, I'll go ahead and install IntelliJ IDEA from that toolbox. Once that is installed, I'll configure the IntelliJ IDEA how I need and how I prefer to set it up. Once that is done, I'll go ahead and install VS code as well because I work on Node.js and Go programming language and few of the web components also, web programming also, I'll install VS code. So I'll also configure VS code so that I can work with my Linux distro as well, which I have installed. So once that is done, I usually work on AWS. So I'll go ahead and download AWS CLI to tool and I will configure AWS CLI in my machine. If you want to know how to configure AWS CLI to in your machine, then I have created a dedicated video for that. I will link that into the description below and you can check out from here as well. Once that is done, I will go ahead and install Windows Terminal from Windows Store because command prompt is very bad. So I prefer to use Windows Terminal. In that Windows Terminal, there are a lot of options that you can use. You can open command prompt terminal, you can open PowerShell, you can open you Ubuntu what you have installed for WSL2. All those things you can do using the Windows Terminal. So I've recently found Fluent Terminal that also I'm using nowadays quite a bit. So you can check that out as well. The next thing I do is to install MySQL Workbench and also I install MySQL Developer because generally I'll be switching around and using MySQL database or sometimes I'll be using Oracle database and generally I'll be using a remote database only. So I have these workbenches and I have SQL Developer so I can connect remote databases and I can work on it. And then I install Postman for testing all my REST APIs. I'm using Postman from quite a long so I prefer using Postman. There are a lot of functionalities available in Postman so I prefer that way. I've also seen Insomnia nowadays that most of the developers are started using Insomnia also. So I need to check that out as well. I'll check that out and let you know guys how I prefer to use Insomnia or Postman. Once I'm done installing all the tools, I go ahead and install my productivity tools. So for my productivity tools, what I'll do is I'll go to IntelliJ IDEA and VS Code and I'll download different themes and different plugins that will improve my productivity while writing code. So if you want me to create a dedicated video for that, what different themes and plugins that I use to improve my productivity, then let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely make a video for it. As I'm using Windows 10, I go ahead and install Power Toys from 
Microsoft. That is a big productivity improvement for me because it provides a lot of different functionalities like color pickers, fancy zones, resizing the images, power rename and a lot of things that Power Toys provides us to improve the productivity. Then I go ahead and install Quick Look. Quick Look is a tool that will allow you to preview all the different files with the help of a spacebar. So you no longer have to double click the file and open the file and you have to close it. Just the click of a spacebar and the click of a spacebar again it will open and close the files. Similar to Mac OS if you have already seen it. So as I'm using Windows I prefer that functionality of Mac OS. So I found this quick look software in Windows 10 and that is improving my productivity a lot. So these are the basically things that I do to set up my development environment. There are a lot of nitty gritty things that I also do to set up my environment but generally these are the tools and settings that I mostly prefer and if there are any other things that will improve my productivity and if you want to share those particular details or particular tools with me then also let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. That's all in this video guys. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos. Till then, happy coding. Bye bye.